For our project, we researched Chiroptera, or the average bat. Among mammals, bats are the only animals capable of powered flight, not to be confused with gliding. The bones of a bat's wing are made of greatly elongated forearm and finger bones that support the thin, elastic wings, allowing them to fly. Most bats can also echolocate by producing high-pitched sounds and then reading the returning echoes. Because of echolocation, these nocturnal animals can, de can detect obstacles and prey much better than using just their vision. Now we'll talk about the evolution of bats and how they got those traits. BMP2, a protein that controls the speed of maturation of cartilage cells in developing fingers, is produced at a significantly higher level in bat fingers than in those of mice, and manipulation of that gene makes this protein can alter digit length. Bat ancestors must have existed prior to the Eocene, but we have no fossil record of them. We can only assume, based on the shape of the elongated wings, that this mutation occurred. The origin of the 19 major bat lineages coincided with the rise in mean annual temperature and a significant increase in insect diversity. Some examples are the Paleochiroteryx that fed on small moss and caddies flies, Archenoteris that fed on beetles, and Hassianteris that ate larger moss and beetles. The idea of evolution is very present in society. Not only can the ideas behind evolution bring about new technological advancements, but it can affect the decisions we make in our daily lives. One way evolution is influenced in our in our society today, technologically, is how blind people are being taught to echolocate using a virtual reality program. Eight blind college students were taught how to make high-pitched clicking noises, then were put in a computer-generated corridor and told to walk through it without bumping into any walls. They were all able to complete the task and are now able to do things like riding bikes. An example of evolution will take a big part in our decision-making is our children. We want our children to stand out and get ahead of everyone else, and we might make decisions to make sure that happens. For example, I might send my child to a college preparatory school because it will give them an advantage when being considered by colleges. Natural selection played a pivotal role in the evolution of bats. Bats would have had little competition for food because they're nocturnal and because of their ability to fly. Natural selection would favor the bat because of its advantage and the related animals who couldn't fly would struggle to find food. 